Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. And look who's joining me in the kitchen today. It's my wife, Dipti. And Dipti is here to make us a delicious Thai inspired dessert because, of course, she loves Thai Food Week month. Sorry, on Headbangers Kitchen. So I just had to have her step into the kitchen and whip us up a dessert. So, what are you making for us today, Dipti? So, we're making a kaffir lime and coconut panna cotta. Uh, because lime and coconut are a classic flavor combination and just adding kaffir lime to it is just this Asian twist that makes it taste so good. So so this is your version of Franken food basically? It's not Franken food, it's just... But it's not a traditional Thai dessert. No, of course not. Yeah, so it's it's this is the inspiration week. You know? Traditional Thai desserts are awesome. I'm not yes. sure mine comes anywhere close. Yes, but those are difficult to make keto and that's another ball game altogether. But enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. So the first thing we're going to do is get a saucepan and put in about 250 ml of coconut cream. To that we're going to add 180 ml of heavy whipping cream. Next I add in some stevia and make sure you sweeten to taste. Next I'm going to add in the kaffir lime leaves and make sure you tear them before putting them in so that they release all their flavor. Next I'm going to take a stick of lemongrass and just bash it with a rolling pin and then I add the lemongrass into the saucepan as well. Then I'm going to put the saucepan on the stove and I'm going to give everything a good mix. Now you just want to cook this on a low heat for about 4 to 5 minutes just till it comes up to a simmer. So just let it cook and just as soon as it starts to bubble and simmer, we're going to cover it with the lid and let everything infuse for 30 minutes. The next thing I'm going to do is put 3 grams of gelatin in 1 tablespoon of water and just let it sit for about 5 minutes to bloom. So after about 30 minutes, I'm going to turn the stove back on and our mixture should hopefully be nice and fragrant now. That kaffir lime and lemongrass should have infused in the coconut cream and the whipping cream. Anyway, give it all a good mix. And now I'm going to add in the gelatin. And of course, give it all a good mix. And once again, you want to cook this on a low heat. You don't want this to be a high heat. You just want to cook it till the gelatin dissolves. And once the gelatin has dissolved and the mixture just about starts bubbling, we're going to take it off the heat and then we're going to strain it into a Pyrex dish. This is just so that it becomes easier to pour. And once that's done, you can pour the panna cotta mixture into your molds or you can use something like I'm using these lovely glass dishes. And then you just want to put it in your fridge for about 4 hours to chill. And after about 4 hours, our panna cotta is ready and it looks delicious. Anyway, time to taste. Alright folks, so it's time to taste this delicious panna cotta. And yeah. Let's Shall I? Yes. Oh. Let's dig in. I can't wait guys, it's so hot. We need something cold in this weather. Mmm. Wow. That is the creamiest panna cotta I've ever eaten. Mm. It's almost like a like a panna cotta fat bomb. Yeah, I guess it it is like a fat bomb basically. It's coconut milk cream, sorry, mm. and more cream, dairy cream. Yeah. So it's yeah. So but okay, I have to be honest. I feel like putting the lemongrass in this was not the greatest idea uh, because I feel like maybe it tastes a little too much like Thai curry, like cold Thai curry. I so guys, I would I would if you. I would leave it out. I was gonna say that it does remind me of Thai curry a little bit, but it's so delicious. But I think just with the lime and the coconut, you can drink a bowl up, it's so nice. Awesome. So I don't know about mm. you guys, but I'm giving this the thumbs up because it's not such my a great summer dessert. Yeah. It is, yes. If you are in Mumbai or Bombay, anywhere. Or anywhere where it's hot, this is the go-to dessert. It's refreshing. Delicious and full of good healthy fats. Yeah. Anyway, enough jibber jabber from the two of us. We will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Cheers and keep cooking. Nonetheless, Dipti is here to make us a Thai in. Ah. And Dipti, what are you going to make for us? 
So we're making a kafir lime panna cotta. Okay. And look who's joining me in the kitchen today. It's Dipti, who's also my wife. Hi, Dipti. That's nice. Hi. Yes. Well, I thought I'd put it. Ah! Horns up and welcome to a. <laughs> What did you just do? I laughed. <laughs>